We can also capture the view on the page. So let's say for example, I'll click on this. I'll select this entire text and it will ask us captures page area to find and fix mistakes. Most of the AI tools wants you to copy paste the content onto their window. But what if there is a tool that works on the window that you are active right now, like a real time assistant on any page that you are on right now. Welcome to the thousand days of no code challenge day 136. The AI tool usually wants you to bring work to them, but imagine the tool that comes to you. Meet Harpa AI a Chrome extension that quietly sits on the browser. Ready to summarize pages, write emails, extract text, and much more, all without changing the tabs. So let's dive in and see what exactly can Harpa AI do for us. Head over to harpa.ai and add a Chrome extension by clicking on this button. And you have to click on this button again. It asks you for the permission. Click on add extension. It will take a few seconds and you can see the extension has been added. To make it easily accessible, click on this icon and go to Harpa AI extension and pin it. Once that is done, it'll ask you to log in with your account. As always, I'll sign in with Google. Click on continue and we are ready. So this particular tab is open. Now I'll head over to YouTube and go to any of the videos let's say cross platform automation. And what I'll do is I'll click on this Harpa AI Chrome extension icon. And then it has search the web, summarize video, repurpose video, and so on and so forth. I'll click on summarize video. It will ask us pick a summary format or type custom instruction. So if you have specific instruction, you can type it here. Or if it is takeaway, nested caption, text, ideas, fact check, you can click on that. So I'll click on takeaway. So it is actually passing the video from this particular page. And there you go. This video is of five minutes, 44 seconds. And you can see that it has given us details section by section, right? So it says beginning introduction to combining automation tools with Pabli Connect and Zapier for enhanced workflows without code. And then at 13 second, understanding the purpose and benefits of cross-platform automation. And as we move further, it will give you what are the details that we have in this particular video. Isn't this amazing? Let's check the next use case. I'll go to Rich7 block and let's open Future of Automation in 2025 and click on this particular icon. And we already have, and we can ask page, right? So type a question, leave blank for what are the key takeaways, right? So we can ask a question or we can leave it blank and click on enter. So it can give us the key takeaways from this particular block. It will also give us the next questions that we can ask. Isn't this helpful? Now let's move on to the next use case. If you want to generate a tweet of this particular page content, then you can click on repurpose page. It will ask you what do you want? Blog post, article, tweet or custom. I'll click on tweet. And now you see based on the content of this page, it will give us tweets. The first tweet is unlock the future of no code automation with AI driven platforms. Empower your business to innovate without coding barriers, right? And along with this, we can also give the link of this particular platform. Not just that, you can add some keywords, add external links, or you can also click on refine. If you click on refine, it'll ask you what do you want to be added in the tweet. Also include some keywords AR and so now you can see that it has included no code AI here, no code and AI here. Right? It has included the keywords that we asked for. You can click on done and that's it. You can clear the chat and move on. We can also capture the view on the page. So let's say for example, I'll click on this. I'll select this entire text and it will ask us captures page area to find and fix mistakes. Explain pass test or answer questions. Please do not misuse this tool for your online exams. Let's move on to the next use case. I'll go to search the web. I'll type give me the list of all bubble plugins which seven has developed. So you can see we've got a few plugins and it'll list down all of this along with sources. Now I'll give you something more. So I'll go to bubble.io slash agencies. These are all the agencies that have been registered with Pubble. Now, if I go to Harpa and then extract data, tabular, facts, contacts, to-do list, right? 
I'll go with tabular. Extract data is running. Now, please check. So all of this details is extracted. So you can see that you have got the agency air dev, which is from United States, language English, budget starting from $5,000, 630 apps built, active for eight years, and so on and so forth. So all the details that is available here is added over here in this extract. If you need more, you can just click on the next tab and extract it even further. I'll give you one more use case. Let's go to Outlook. So I've opened this particular email. Now let's let me tell trust sender so that can see all the details. And now I'll click on Harpa AI. I'll ask it to write a reply. Find on page. Ado. So you can see that it has understood who has sent the email, which is Sanjeev. And it gives me the response. Thank you for the welcome. Excited to explore supermeme.ai and see what it can do. I appreciate the features for creating memes from text and topics and multilingual capabilities sound impressive. I'll be sure to give them a try and provide feedback. You can paste to page or you can expand this. You can shorten it, simplify it, humanize it, casual tone, professional tone, translate it, add a signature or even make it as a bullet points. Don't you think these are powerful features that we use on a day-to-day -day basis? Basically, Harpa AI is like having ChatGPT on the go without you having to switch. So if you're someone who constantly keeps reading, writing, or researching, this might be the tool that you want to add to your workflow. So go give Harpa a spin and share your feedback in the comments below or in our WhatsApp community. And that's all from my side for today. I will see you in the next one.